Welcome back to the News at 6. Well, a middle Georgia boxer is back home in Macon after making it to the final round last week in a national tournament in Utah. 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent introduces us to him in this week's Sports Spotlight. Five days a week, you can find Malik Montgomery here at the Middle Georgia Amateur Boxing Club. Malik and his two brothers train here under their father, Michael. Last month, Michael took his three sons and other boxers from around the state to a regional competition in Knoxville, Tennessee. Team Georgia dominated. All nine members advanced to the Golden Gloves National Tournament in Salt Lake City. It was electrifying. I mean, we were really ready to bang it out. The team brought home three medals in all, and Malik boxed his way into the final round, even though he'd injured both his arms earlier in the tourney. It was a muscle that was tightened that was messing with me on my left arm and in my back arm. It was just hurting the way it was like swollen. Using life lessons learned through his training, Malik fought through the pain. It went hard first round, felt like I pulled out the first round. And then towards the beginning of the second round, my injury started catching up to me and I started fatiguing. And uh, last round, it was just basically, I just moved around and was jabbing and I thought I didn't have to pull it out, but I didn't. Despite a runner-up finish in Utah, Malik still has his eyes set on competing in the 2016 Olympics. His mom, Teresa, is behind him 100%. He, he's decided, he's determined that's what he's going to do, so now it's full speed ahead. In Macon, with this week's Sports Spotlight, Tucker Sargent, 41 NBC News. And we wish him the best of luck. Right now, Malik is training for the Ringside World Tournament. That's in Independence, Missouri. That'll start on July 31st. But if you want to catch Malik and some of those other middle Georgia boxers in action before they leave the state again, there's going to be a tournament right here in Macon on July 6th. For more information, you can check out our website, 41NBC.com.